going to do the installation of Windows 8.1 now, and what we have done is we have simply booted the computer from the DVD in order to start the installation using a standard installation process. When you install Windows 8.1 Enterprise, which is what we're doing now, you're going to see a screen kind of like what we see here. And interestingly, it says it's Windows 8, even though it's 8.1. So don't let that alarm you. You'll need to choose your language, your time and currency format, and your keyboard or input method. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the default of English and US, and click on Next. And then you can repair a computer if it's damaged, but in this case we want to install. So we'll click on Install Now. And the first thing you'll get is the license agreement, and because this is an Enterprise Edition, the license agreement is very simple. I'll accept and click Next. And we can either upgrade or do our actual install, which is what we want to do, so we'll choose Custom to do an install. Now you could manually partition your drive if you want to. What I'm actually going to do is say that I do want to manually partition it because I want you to see something that it does. So I'm going to say I want a new partition. I'm going to tell it to use all the space and click apply. I get an option here that says to ensure that all Windows features work correctly, Windows might create additional partitions for file systems. I'll click OK. Now I did it that way because I wanted you to see that it does indeed do that. If I had just clicked next, I wouldn't see that it actually created a system partition that's 350 megabytes in size and then the actual drive is 79.7 .7 gigabytes. Now why did it do that? Well, if I use BitLocker to encrypt this drive, it needs that partition for BitLocker purposes. So having that one allows me to do that. Also, if I boot from VHD, so I'm going to install to this partition, but if I later add a VHD to this partition, it would allow me to still boot from here and then access either the partition natively or the VHD file on the partition to boot up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and say we wanna install. And it's going to go through a copying process. Now, this can take a little while, so we're going to time lapse and speed this up for you. And when this is finished, we'll take a look at the results on the other side. And so now the system is ready to restart. So we'll restart it and take a look at the results.